Episode 98 of the Interpretation Station is called to order. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's been a long time, but the Italian episodes of the Interpretation Station are back. It's been, I think, since the summer. Look who I've got with me today again. Do you remember this little lady? I've more or less forgotten. What's your name again? Uh, Sara, it's Sara Molinari. How are you doing, Sara? Hello, I'm fine. And you? I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I've been missing you. Uh, me too. I missed you, really. Where have you been hiding? Um, I, at home, <laughs> actually. You're at home <laughs> for a lot of months. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But now I'm back. <laughs> back to my desk <laughs> so. the best place for you yeah. now since we last met actually so sarah i know has been pretty busy with things she's been doing interpreting assignments in fact haven't you yeah right exactly lately i um i had a, a job as interpreter for um uh, a medical um, for the medical sector medical um a medical topic, uh, so uh, I I had to prepare um, a lot of things for this uh, meeting, um, and yeah, it was a little bit different than the usual translations, of course, because you have time, you know, uh, to think. Uh, interpretation doesn't allow you to think uh, uh, as much as you want because everything has to be ready, <laughs> quick and ready. So, uh, yeah. It was a, a really good experience. Did you take any of my tips from when we worked, when we did of, that? Of course. When we did that text in the summer? Of course. Did you I took some tips. Um, it was a Zoom meeting. Uh, so um, it was cutting bits, you know, you, I translated bit by bit. Uh -huh. uh, because it was not a proper simultaneous interpretation, of course, it would have been different yeah. otherwise. Uh, but uh, yes, I, I of course uh, followed your tips, and uh, <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> really. <laughs> well, I mean, I just remember that when we did it, we did the episode in the summer. It was like you got to stop trying to get every word uh, that was your thing you were trying to get every single yeah. word yeah uh, <laughs> but it is terrible because after half an hour you are dead <laughs> yeah dead that's it that's it so, okay that's good that it went well that's the main thing and it's good yeah. that you're back because so for today's episode everybody we've got we're doing something a bit different so i've been given uh, the statement the, the subject of today's uh, episode was supplied to be to me by a Carmela Mustile, uh, who lives, she is a court interpreter. She lives in the US, and I believe she's adding Italian to her combination. And um, Carmen sent to us a text that she had found that she interpreted uh, from YouTube. And so it's not the usual sort of UN stuff that we do in the Interpretation Station episodes. It's something completely different. It's actually a text, uh, a lecture, I guess, by a psychotherapist yeah. named uh, Roberto Rugi. Ruga. Ru Roberto Ruga. Yeah. Um, Sara, tell, tell us, tell the viewers just a little bit about this, about this guy. Yes, exactly. Um, I didn't know him before uh, this episode, actually, but uh, thanks to the material uh, that uh, it was sent to us, uh, to you, uh, <laughs> I um, discovered that I found out that uh, Roberto Ruga is uh, uh, a psychologist and a psychotherapist. Uh, so, um, and he, um, um, he, uh, record videos and uh, uh, these videos are very available available on YouTube. So um, it's interesting to um, to I mean to focus on psychological uh, aspects uh, um, uh, that he um, that he deals with. Uh, okay, so, so it's very. I mean, a lot of the stuff it sounds quite Freudian. Um, yes. Funnily enough, I'm actually, you know what I'm reading at the moment? 
Uh, I'm reading um, by, oh God, is it Freud? Freud? Ne- uh, I'm reading by Nietzsche. I thought I would re- try and read some philosophy. Thus spake Zarath- Zarathustra. I am <laughs> plowing, plowing my way through Thus spake Zarathustra at, at the moment. Oh. Uh, it's hard going. It's hard. It's hard. I, I need, I, so I've got the book. But I've also got like notes, like, to accompany it so I read it and then I have to look at the notes oh that's what that means yeah, it's like so, studying um, psychology or almost <laughs> or philosophy or I don't know <laughs> something like that it's oh man it's all, all about the, the superman and the, the yeah. uber mensch and it's, yeah uh, yeah so this text it's quite um topical in that well it's, it's interesting yeah. to sort of be reading that and then be uh, looking at this text at the same time yeah and it's quite interesting so as I say very but every now and then you know what sometimes you get these sort of guys who are invited to speak at like a special event or at a symposium at the UN um, and it can take you by surprise so, surprise it's always good just to be able to know how to adapt your approach when sudden a sort of guy like this comes to speak I, I remember a few years ago for example when I was in New York um, there was a big conference and they had he's a French philosopher called is he Bernard Henri Lévy have you heard of him mm, no. I think he's a big shot French thinker um, who came and spoke at the UN so uh, that was, and then these guys, they don't really tend to prepare a speech. It, it's all just a sort of stream of consciousness. It's all very spontaneous. And it, you know, there's a technique to sort of coping with that kind of thing. Uh, and it's a technique, I guess, you know, I mention it a lot. And it's all about, you know, trying to keep those ideas that the speaker is, is coming out with, again, delivering them in sort of short, more compact packages that mm-hmm. are it's important some you know you don't want to get um dragged away by the original speaker into these long meandering sentences and you get lost mm-hmm. you just again need to focus on getting out short sort of bits of information now the thing is that doing that way it can come out a bit staccato with the delivery Mm-hmm. But the main thing, you know, the, your point, your, the point is you're getting that information out in a coherent manner. And that's often the best way to approach it, a better way to approach it than trying to go with this guy's, the speaker's flow of thought. So yeah. you just have to, um, it's a trade off, really. You don't sound as smooth and flowing as the original speaker, but mm. you're getting the, the information out there. And uh, I think actually Carmen does that pretty well in this uh, statement, as we'll see. Um, okay, so I'm gonna leave the, uh, the link to the original statement down in the descri- description box as always. While you're down in the description box, share, subscribe, like, all that crap, do all that as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, give the, give the statement a try. Give Mr. Ruga a try, record yourself. And then come and watch the show. See what me and Sarah, what words of wisdom we have to say about him. Okay. So, well, let's hear the the recording, right? Let's get started, Sarah. Let's get started. Okay. Sarah's got dinner on at seven, so we're in a hurry. So, what a dinner to get cold. Accept yourself for who you are and leave the adversities as tools for your own self-realization. So what is uh, uh, self-realization, the realization of uh, oneself? Um, Self-realization... I stop here. Okay. Okay. Just to introduce the topic, I think... Uh, so here, oh, sorry. Um, they speak about uh, um, the um, the self the self uh, self acceptance. I mean, self realization, self fulfillment. So, um, 
one thing you said before. Now, I'm, there's one thing you said there, Sada, that's I thought that's interesting because you actually say, yeah, when you, when you were introducing, he's talking about self-realization or self-fulfillment. Now, actually, during this text, Carmela tends to talk about self-realization, self-realization. I'm always a bit that word realized coming from like one of the romance languages, putting it into English. I'm always a slightly uncomfortable uh, with it. And to be honest, um, in this statement, I kind of am more comfortable with self-fulfillment. I think self-fulfillment oh. in, in this context sounds better throughout this statement than self-realization. She'll talk at one point about self-realized persons, and that just doesn't sound right to me in English. So in that sort of context, I think it's better self-fulfilled. I also found uh, self-actualization. Self-actualization. Yeah. Don't know if I'm a big fan In of that. Some research, but I, I wanted to ask you because actually I, yeah, the one I preferred uh, was self-fulfillment and uh, is the one that I already knew previ previously, I mean, previously before even searching this, um, this word, okay? because I always check uh, two or three times, but uh, yeah. Um, so self-actualization is not uh, maybe, doesn't sound English or- Doesn't sound really English, no. I, don't, I mean, maybe, it, you know, it may be one of the, might, might be one of these philosophical concepts that some mm. psychotherapist has come up with, yeah. but to me, that doesn't, that sounds ugly to me. The okay. most, not, the best thing in English sounds to me is, is self-fulfillment. Okay. Um, one other thing I just want to say, okay, she turned uh, Carmela turned strumenti into tools, which, okay, I mean, I think you just leave it as instruments as well. Though. Instruments, yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. And, uh, okay, we can continue to listen to... Okay. Is that satisfying your own aspirations mm -hmm. can be uh, physiological, affectionate, creative, personal, professional, etc. The realization, self-realization, responds to a series of um, human needs that they always uh, grow. So physiological need like sleep, hunger, um, then there are the needs of protection, safety, uh, belonging, um, the couple, the group, um, the need of esteem, etc., etc. Say so, soddisfacimento delle proprie aspirazioni. That means respond uh, to several. I mean, no, sorry. Um, consists in meeting one own aspirations. Would that well, that's nice. That's okay. nice. Now, funnily enough, this is one. I'm trying. I was. This is okay. You could also just say satisfying aspirations, as Carmela did. Also here with an aspiration with perhaps realizing an aspiration, realizing ambitions, realizing uh, aspirations. So there are contexts actually where realize doesn't work too badly, but I think, yeah, any of those, Carmela's satisfy, your meet, my realize, I think they're all good. Mm -hmm. uh, physiological, okay, personal. Okay, let me just, there's one thing that if you're gonna go on. So, um, Di livello via crescente. Have I pronounced that right? Yes, exactly. Uh, oh. A level gradually increasing, uh, a gra a, yeah, a gradual increasing level. So, okay, so she says that they always grow. So yes, I was just going to say myself. that in Eng an English, a more smoother way of saying that in English would be like ever, ever growing, whatever it was, what's growing again, ever growing standards yes. ever growing levels so that's a, a a smoother slicker way of doing that getting that notion across in english saying ever growing ever increasing mm -hmm. ever diminishing yeah so, depending yeah okay I, yeah. was there anything else in that set oh, there was yeah. a couple more things i've got a couple more things i wanted to say the yeah. bisogni the bisogni di protezione e di sicurezza mm -hmm. uh, now yeah. Carmela gave that as sicurezza, as safety. Um, I would, I think it's better to stick with security, you know, um, 
is I think in that in that context, safety is more to do, I guess, with with machines and those sorts of things. Whereas your own feeling of security, inner security, um, mm -hmm. is more. I think it's more in line with the the sort of spirit of what this guy's talking about. Your, your sort of internal feelings, a feeling of security. And ah, one thing I wanted uh, to ask myself also, um, affettive, it means, uh, I mean, here, when it says aspirations that may be physiological, personal, affective. Uh huh. Oh, is it okay or? What did, so what, what, what would you say? Uh, affettive. Aff affettive, we would say, uh, so, I would translate uh, affective, or I would render as affective, but I don't know if it's that. That doesn't sound right. To like that doesn't sound uh, right to me. Um, is it to do with affection, like emotions? Yes, emotion, emotional. Maybe yeah. emotional. Because, uh, for example, on reverso, they gave me the two options: affect, uh, affective, and emotional. Right. Honestly, I was not sure whether to choose one or the other because it was. I honestly. Yeah. Couldn't. I mean, to me, the context again with this kind of thing, like feelings. I think it's more emotional. It sounds uh, more sort of probably. appropriate. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, but for example, bisogni di stima. Uh, needs of or for esteem? So yeah, I think she talks about self-esteem, the need for, the need for self-esteem, yeah. Because sometimes I hear with of, sometimes with, with for. Mm -hmm. and the need of. I think for is more typical, I would say now. For, for. Okay, good. Okay, we take it. Okay, so uh, uh, can I go on with the list? Yep, yep. Okay. To feel realized, self-realized, allows the subject to, to enjoy a, a particular form of fulfillment and well-being that makes him feel sure of himself, uh, full of energy and well uh, included in the social realm. We need, uh, especially accepting oneself for who you are, accepting oneself. In fact, since we are born, every one of us tends to naturally uh, and gradually um, to transform oneself, uh, to fulfill oneself and um, you know, one's own need um like a, a what we can say a individual pathway that is defined by Jung. Um okay. Okay, I'm gonna get into Jung soon. <laughs> uh, yeah. Take a take a deep breath before you get into Jung. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um where we were here, yeah, okay. Um Okay. sentirsi realizzati consente al soggetto di godere di una forma particolare di appagamento. I was interested to hear what you said so appagamento so I think she said fulfillment. Uh, I think uh, yes the the feeling of uh, fulfillment yes exactly okay. fulfillment. Um, I can't remember what uh, she said about uh, the soggetto, maybe this subject, she said, or? The, the subject, I mean, yeah, the individual, yeah, the sub I think that would, well, I think either would be yeah. fine in, in English, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, okay, godere, ah, to enjoy, okay, godere, she said, uh, enjoy a particular form of uh, um, fulfillment. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, Another maybe would uh, experience be okay in this case instead of enjoy or particular? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds a good sort of synonym. Yeah. Okay, just to give synonyms. 
and uh, yeah, full of energy. Okay. And ah, okay. one thing I was going to say, Ben, Ben inserito nell'ambito sociale. Esatto, ben inserito. She said, uh, well included. Well included, right? Yeah. Does it again? Mm, does, well integrated, uh, maybe. Well integrated. I think that's nicer. I ju or just to be part of something, you know, to yeah, be part so, to be part of yeah, yeah. in English again. But has you quite know, a yeah, but you know, when you are in a hurry, <laughs> it's not. So yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's. Uh, um, no, no. Included. I mean, if you're doing it off the cuff, then that's a very, yeah, that's uh, a very good attempt. Yeah. Exactly. But, uh, exactly. Integrated is possibly nicer to be part of something. But, no, again, it's good to have the synonyms. Um, hmm? Okay. What anything else in that section for you? Mm, uh, cammino individuale, maybe. Yeah. The individual path. Or cammino individuale. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe individual uh, journey. I was thinking that, you know, journey, that, that word occurred to me, I've got to say. Yeah, I like that. I wasn't certain whether to say it, but now that you've said it, so you think journey, yeah, I, I like that. I, I wrote like down that. only the individual journey path. It, it's the immediate <laughs> the yeah. emergency button <laughs> when you press yeah. the emergency. So, I think she said, what did she say? Pathway, right? Uh, pathway, I think. Pathway. Yeah, pathway is okay. I'd say it's maybe slightly... When people use the pathway, it sounds to me quite managerial. That's the mm. only thing. This is more spiritual, someone's path. I yeah. hear pathway, I, I'm thinking of roadmaps and yeah, things like that. Uh, so again, it's, it's, you know, it's a minor detail. Mm -hmm. um, one other thing, transformars, transformarsi, to transform oneself. Evolve. Um, to evolve, yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's really nice. Evolved, it's yeah. It's used, I mean, in these uh, um, contexts uh, of uh, psychological. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's really nice. Uh, really nice. Okay. Um, okay, we can continue. I mm -hmm. think we can. <laughs> we can On to young. With young. Yes. Oh, it's not young in this way, but it's it's written with. Uh, uh, J O J U N G. That's right. So just, uh, uh, yeah, so I continue. Mm -hmm. The pathway to individuation. But there is another author, Abraham Maslow, that um, is one of the founder of humanistic uh, psychology. And it is a, a author that is very attent and precise about self-realization. And he teaches us that self-realization goes through the total knowledge and acceptance of uh, the intrinsic nature of ourselves. Look who's joined me. Look who's joined me, Max. Oh, Ma. hello. She just, she's just waddled in. She just waddled in, came to say hello. She had her operation. This is what she's this really? is wearing. She got new, yeah, you know, she got the, the little operation. Oh. She's all right then. Oh, Max. <laughs> she wanted to say hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, individuation, eh? Yeah. I thought that was a made up word, but it's so, it's, he, so Jung actually did, did talk about individuation, right? Yes, path of individuation. Uh, that's what Jung uh, to talked about. Um, yeah, humanistic psychologist. Oh, okay. And um, uh, studioso molto attento. She said attent, probably. Yeah, I wanted to pick up on this. So, yeah, I think you want to be saying mindful of. To be mindful. No. Attentive to our mind. When I, when I hear that, I think that there's something similar in French. So I will mm. usually go for mind to be mindful of something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And uh, 
there was a, one other thing I was again something similar to like French that I so passa attraverso. Mm. Um, now in in French, you often hear something passe, quelque chose passe par something or other, and I, I almost always render that as this requires it requires doing something, uh, and I get the impression that it's that same meaning here okay that self-fulfillment requires full awareness yes uh, exactly exactly because uh, i couldn't find of a of a way to uh to express this uh, uh this sentence uh to the, the require yes um no okay the require the knowledge and the acceptance okay intrinsic nature here that's good yeah intrinsic nature yeah 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 that sounds good okay. in english yeah uh she said uh, um all'interno della nostra personalità inside uh she used the word inside uh, or within within maybe yeah i would say okay and um uh, just to take you back, una tendenza molto forte. Uh, okay. She went with tendency. I think, again, it is, in, coming from Romance languages, I think yeah. you use the word tendenza or tendance mm -hmm. perhaps more than we would in English. Mm. Um, I was wondering here, like, it's like talking about strong drive to do something. A okay, strong drive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. So drive because yeah, um, I put tendency as well as uh, Car Car Carmela. Yes, <laughs> as Carmela. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So um, yeah, but I was wondering if uh, there was another way to put it. So uh, I think if it's something internal, I, I think a drive mm -hmm. sounds is 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 better. That's my suggestion. Okay, maybe you can continue. Yep like a tendency that is very strong inside of us a, a tendency to unicity to uniqueness to the synergy and to the integration of the various components that are inside of our own personality what this means is um, based on this on definition it's possible to identify some um, index of behaviors that are common to those people that are realized, self-realized, which are, let's see, let's see what they are, these, uh, these uh, indexes. Let's say that people that are self-realized are people that are very well in touch with their own reality and they reached a higher level of consciousness, of awareness, that they are at ease. Should we stop there? Yeah, okay, uncertain. sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Okay, so how the index, indexes? In, in Indexes, yeah, I didn't like this use of word index. Um, to me, I think it's just easy to say a sign was the word that, um, to identify, individuare is identify, right? Yeah, exactly. Individual yeah. identify. Um, so, but, so to me, identify signs of behavior. Uh, I also found a definition, I mean, um, a particular, uh, maybe technical word, behavioral in indices, like... Uh, uh, indices. Yes. <laughs> Maybe it's specific. When well, indices is, is that, that's the plural of index. Uh, index, indices, indices. Um, I mean, you could get away with it, yeah. Um, to me, it, it sounds more right. natural just to talk, when you talk about in, indi. What's the, what's the singular in Italian? Indice? Indice. Indice. I think generally you want to be just going with a sign, I would have thought, um, oh. going into English. Okay, bin calate nella realtà, uh, 2.46 here. Yep, well, the, uh, I wanted to say something here, but I'll let you go first. Okay, um, um, I mean, I put, uh, I think I put something here, like, uh, um, well-integrated, 
in the um, in in the in the context in the social context uh, or uh, yes the, I would use maybe the word integrated again or for what sorry for ben calaten ben calaten nella realtà ben... uh, okay sono so she says in realtà. touch with reality yes um yes exactly uh like, does it mean it's to do right with being like comfortable with one's own reality? Yeah, is that the exactly? Being calat in the realtà, calarsi in the realtà, it means uh, uh, to be part uh, of uh, the the context. Uh, to I mean, to be an active part uh, in a context. Okay, so uh to be integrated to yes to be in touch to, so you I know mean, i thought her in touch with wasn't bad another idea i had was we often in english you can talk about being at one with something being at one with nature we'll often say in english mm. um at what you know being at one with un, one's own reality it, yeah. it occurred to me could be quite a nice way of um putting that being at yeah Yes. That's the idea, right? isn't it? That you're comfortable with it, that you're at peace with it, that mm -hmm. you're... So anyway, there's a couple of... I think there's a few ways you could do it. So it's just, mm -hmm. yeah, again, a few synonyms for you. Okay. People are uh, also um, at ease during adversity, which they deal with um, in a creative and flexible way. And I talked about flexibility in this... Uh, previous uh, videos. Um, in some, they are spontaneous. People that are spontaneous, they are enthusiastic. They can be social. They can be um, anti-conformist. And I also dedicated an entire playlist to the concept of anti-conformism and it's titled uh, Self-Realization. Okay, stop here. Yeah, let's stop that. So you're going to say concept oh really good <laughs> uh, yes awareness that's the awareness. okay awareness uh, yes. what did she say was it consciousness awareness did she say conscious i think i mean I, can't remember. <laughs> I think she might have said consciousness but i think that uh, fine either way probably yeah and then this is an so this expression was a lot so they she yeah. uses it she we'll speak use it a couple of times at ease, right? Yeah. Or uh, okay. again, comfortable with, right? Oh, also, yes. And uh, situazioni incerte. Um, probably she said adversities or something. I like think she that. talked about, in the, that's in the next line. A loro agio nelle avversità. It's an uncertain situation just to be, I mean, to stick to <laughs> the literal translation yep. but of course i think you can't uh, say this so uh yes maybe i don't know um situation in chat maybe it's uh, um i think you can say anything in uncertain situations <laughs> uncertain situation yeah or in, a, in situations of uncertainty. Maybe that sounds a little bit nicer. Yeah, maybe a little that sounds but slightly it's nicer. But I don't know if you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, uh, I think you, for, either would be fine, but maybe maybe in situations of uncertainty sounds a little bit more. Yeah. And, um, a little bit nicer. Yeah, flexible, creative. There's one other thing I wanted to pick up on just in that chunk that... Yeah? You played so okay. Anti conform, anti conformiste. So okay. she rendered it as anti conformist. So in English, you're gonna more like to say non conformist. Non, okay. uh, non conformist. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. Non conformist. Uh, oh, uh, and uh, sanno essere socievoli. Uh, Probably here, I don't know if it's okay, I would say uh, they, a lot people who can, um, enthusiastic people uh, who are able to be uh, sociable. Uh, 
Sociable. Sociable, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. One playlist. Okay. So we can move on, maybe. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, there are people they can live in a constructive way. Uh, they can live in constructive way their own pain, their own inner pain, their own solitude. As well as they know how to live in, construct, in a constructive way, the pleasures of life. They are not people that are concentrated only on their own ego. And therefore, they are people that are open to encounter the otherness, the other people. They, they believe that they can learn from everyone. So they are people that are full of imagination, okay? And this is derived on their own ability to approach reality. Okay, maybe stop. Mm -hmm. Stop that, okay. Um, I entitled, yeah, the study was yeah, entitled, yeah. Do you have anything to point? Yeah, there was a couple of things. This So this per, persone concentrati solo sul proprio. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so she said concentrated. Um, on their own, did you say ego? Yeah, exactly. Is is your is your ego? Ego, ego right. yes. Yes. I mean, I mean, there's a couple of other little um, ideas I had. Just um, you know, fixated with themselves, self-absorbed. That's also a, a, an adjective that we we'll use. I think a lot that, that mm -hmm. captures that idea of person of people who are really fixated on themselves. The idea of being self-absorbed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Aperta all'incontro con l'altro, open to, I mean. Open. Yeah, I think meet, I think she said encounters with others. I think, yeah, say me meeting. Meeting, yeah. Meeting with others. Okay. With other people, right? Yes, exactly. All'incontro yeah, yeah, con yeah. l'altro, with uh, someone else, I mean. Right, right. Okay. Um, because they think that... Uh, uh, you can learn from anyone. Yeah, right, right. And this deriva dalla loro capacità. So she says she just takes like the cognate, derives from their capacity. So again, from that, it's always good to have a couple of stems from their capacity. Uh, um, emanates from stems is good, but yeah, any of those. Mm -hmm. oh, stems, okay. Uh, di approcciare la realtà to approach reality I would say so yeah okay or to deal with reality yeah if you want no. okay mm, okay ingenuità e freschezza dei bambini uh, ingenuity okay and freschezza um, probably mm, I don't know if simplicity would. Uh, work. I think you could say freshness. The freshness, freshness. Of, a, of, a, okay. of a child. I think that would be fine. Yeah. Okay. It sounds good so in English. I was wondering if uh, it was uh, the same in English. In fact, uh, because I was not really hundred percent sure about this. So freshness is fine. I would say it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So I can move on to the next. Yep. Okay. With the ingenuity and ah, okay. freshness okay. of a child, so therefore we can say that to reach a balance, an inner balance for us and create a, a life that um, brings us to self-realization, we need to learn um, who they are, who we are, uh, without hurry, without hypocrisy. Uh, only like this we can discover our own inner treasure. But we must give ourselves the time that we need, in fact. Self-realization is a, a pathway that is uh, perennially uh, becoming and it, the conquest is by by level by degrees and um, okay is by level by degrees okay one, one quick thing i'd just say yeah. so raggiungere l'equilibrio so she talks about i think reaching a balance it's always good yes. 
to have to strike a balance. We often talk about striking a balance in English. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, che porti alla realizzazione di necessi that lead that leads to that uh, mm, takes us to. Okay. Or, uh, Towards fulfillment. Huh? Okay. Uh, uh, inner, she spoke about the inner treasure, probably, or maybe here it was hidden. Hidden, okay, for nascosto. Huh? Uh, nascosto. Uh, yeah, well, inner, maybe, yes, because it's within a person, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, um, do you want uh, uh, to point out? One, I noticed she said, e una meta imprended, a, a pathway is, is for yeah. meta. Sì, è una meta in, imprende di venire. No, here I think the Italian is not uh, correct. È una meta uh, infatti la realizzazione è una meta uh, Imprende di venire che si conquista, no, in divenire, probably. Yes, because it's an evo, a, okay, it's a, a, a target. An a target, target. Ah, okay, yeah, that's what an I thought, yeah. target. And, okay, okay. okay. In divenire, it's not imprende, non, no, <laughs> it doesn't okay. exist. <laughs> okay, so. Which word uh, doesn't exist? In Imprende, imprende. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, so mm, there is no such thing in Italian, honestly. Okay. <laughs> È una meta in, I think, in divenire, probably the Italian version. Okay. So it means that uh, there's a process to reach the self-fulfillment. Uh, uh, so okay. And then I just noticed for si conquista, um, yeah. She uses conquest, which uh, doesn't, I don't like that really in, um, in English. I mean, as a verb, I mean, conquest is the noun, okay? The, the verb is conquer. conquer. But I think if you're going to a target, you probably want to, 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 to attain it, to reach it, to over, overcome it, perhaps. Um, I'd try and get away maybe from conquests, conquering it. Okay, so we can, uh, I think we were here. Right? Reach, you can to reach, you can just, yeah, to reach. We can feel uh, then the imperceptible um, changes that uh, are unified, that they mix one with the other. That's why it is wrong to establish uh, uh, like a, some uh, you know calendar some schedule of changes uh, so sometimes a an action that is apparently irrelevant uh, that is done uh, all of that is done um, out, of, out of the blue um, brings a lot of change instead of other times commitments for years they it bring they bring like in very small changes even though the commitment was Ok, here. Um, sulla scorta, ok, sulla, si conquista sulla scorta di impercettibili cambiamenti che si amalgamano l'un l'altro, ok. Um, imperceptible changes that, ok, amalgamarsi means the mix. Yeah, or merge, I was thinking, might be nicer, them to merge with each other. And then merge with... Uh, each other okay i mean that's the word they'll often use when you know uh when they're in a meeting they're talking about merge. let's say a resolution and they want to put two paragraphs into one paragraph they'll merge the paragraph that's really in english the best way of mm -mm. capturing that idea and then she took uh limiti temporali i mean she changed that into calendar and schedule i mean i think she could just stuck to time limits i think would have been fine Time yeah, frames. Yeah. Time frames. Yeah, that might be nice, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another word. And then, uh, oh, um, I missed the 
how she rendered tabelle di marcia uh, sketch schedule she said no or is that what it is uh, maybe that's okay. what she said uh -huh. she did okay. say schedule at one point yeah okay um Oh, out of the blue, she said. Uh, she... All'improvviso. Uh, All'improvviso, uh, yes. Uh -huh. oh, the idea I had was spontaneously. Okay. Do you think that works? Yes, spontaneamente, exactly. Uh, irrelevante, computer all'improvviso. Yes, without even thinking about it, probably. Yeah, I think spontaneously in one word sort yes. of does that quite, uh -huh. good, quite a good job there. And I was going to say for produce risultati enormi. Um, so I think she brings results. To, I think so this is always a good expression to have a few brings options results. for, like, uh, yeah, often we talk about yielding great results. That's a good word to, uh, to have to yield, to pay huge dividends uh, uh, is another idea that's really useful to, to have. I mean, um, I was going to say maybe this is uh, it's more if like in the political domain to use that kind of register pay huge dividends but I think you've, here as well actually you could um yeah to pay huge dividends yield great results um, again those, those are good ones to know you just say produce, produce. as well just produce, oh, okay. yeah. produce results okay uh, di anni di long uh, di long time commitment the uh -huh. yeah and uh, in existent uh small in existent results year-long endeavors yeah. endeavors for an impenio endeavor yeah. mm -mm -mm. endeavor maybe we we uh can move on here yep yeah. yes so the point is not to run uh, but to become uh, aware to become aware and do only what instinctually we want to do with or um, hang out with people that with people that we feel in our skin are interesting and therefore then uh, we can like our, our talent the seed of our talent can sprout also we must be um, able to live adversity as tools, as tools for our own self-realization. Um, afanarsi was a word that I, I was interested to know what you would say for afanarsi. Ah, afanarsi. Um, okay. Non um, correre. It's um, okay. The main thing is uh, not to rush uh, and uh, afanarsi and. Uh, get carried away yeah get carried away exactly afanarsi you mean that uh, you feel you feel almost drowning <laughs> okay <laughs> because you can't do everything uh, on time maybe <laughs> or so yeah uh, exactly you feel carried and feel carried away so okay che appelle riteniamo interessanti appelle it means that uh, um just in, uh, that at first impression we consider uh, to be interested interesting so uh, i was wondering about synonyms for uh, appelle riteniamo interessanti so in italian it is the meaning yeah. is in Italian, it means uh, uh, that uh, as, as first impact, uh, we yeah. uh, think that they are interesting. These people are interesting. So you feel in your bones, maybe. Is yeah. that, that maybe the idea? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, exactly. So just to put uh, this into the sentence, it would be uh, that you feel that your bones feel to be interesting. No. Yeah, people who, who you feel in your bones are interesting. Ah, who you feel in bones. When you get okay. a feeling in your bones. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, uh, I like what you said for Germa this year, I was going to yes, say. Exactly. Talks about sprout, a seed sprouting or springing. But sprout's yeah. good. Sprout's sprouting. good, is that what she says? Mm -mm. 
Okay, tools again, instruments. Uh... Tools, right. One thing I wasn't so vivere anche la adversità. She talked about living adversity. Yes. Yeah, see, I was thinking maybe it was capable of, in this context, like seeing adversity as an instrument for our own self fulfillment, yeah, like as opposed to living it. Um, considering you, if you mean, no? Yeah, it's um, per perceiving, seeing, mm -mm -mm. living doesn't quite, it sounds too close to the it's sort of original. Italian, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. To, to live a creative life and feel uh, entirely self-realized, we must lose the fear to make a mistake. In fact, one of the main obstacles to self-realization is for sure the fear of unknown. So on the contrary, it is much more useful to welcome the, the adversities and, and uh, be able to transform their own energy in something positive to utilize the difficult experience, the painful experience in the tools of transformation and self-realization. Okay. Um, uh, uh, paura di sbagliare. Oh, She's, right. Yeah, uh, fear to make mistakes. Or Could you say the fear of failure? The fear of failure, yes, exactly. I think in English that sounds slightly more natural. Again, okay, yes, the feeling of failure, exactly. And uh, the fear of the unknown, she said also. Yeah, oh, the, that's good, that's good for uh, me, yeah, yeah, I like that. I find synonym here because it's yeah. uh, unknown. Um, I was going to say transform, transformare la loro energia. Energia, yes. Energia, so it's okay to transform. I think often when you hear in English, uh, trans, trans, transformer, whatever in French in the Romance languages, often that goes well in English, it goes well, um, convert, to, conv convert. to convert yeah, into their energy else. into something. I mean, in, even in sport, you rugby players have the, how, Italy's not that, uh, you're all right at rugby, Italy. <laughs> so, uh, Scotland always beats you. Haha. <laughs> um, <laughs> Transformas, transformation. Yeah. Uh, so you'll say in English that's a conversion. So mm -hmm. uh, often I will find myself hearing uh, transformé and put it into convert, conversion. Okay. Or uh, to turn their energy into something. Oh, that's nice as well. Just going with turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And also, utilizzare le esperienze. Mm -hmm. um, she said, okay, to utilize. utilize. Yeah. So uh, that's a couple of ideas that I like to use are to, are to draw on these experiences or, or to, to harness is a very good um, solution, oh. I think, for that, to harness, harness some energy, positive energy, you know, okay. like a harness is what you put on a horse to sort of yes. bring it under control and use it to, you know, make the most of it. So harness is a generally a good word. You talk about harnessing technologies. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, to, it's like to not exploit. Yeah, but that's the idea. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Uh, Often in, I think they like explotare or explotar in Spanish, exploiter. Often okay. that will go nicely in English into to harness. Oh, she said, okay, è più utile accogliere anche eventuali avversità. Accogliere eventuali avversità. She said, welcome uh, adversities or I was thinking about a synonym to, to help. Is there any synonym here? For which word? For accogliere avversità. Yeah, it's uh, welcome. Utile, yeah, welcome adversity. Um, um, I mean, I like just welcome, to be honest. Yeah, embrace. Ah, okay. Embrace, maybe. Embrace. Embr embrace. Embrace, okay. Okay, so we can uh, continue to the next uh, thing. Therefore, to do this, 
we uh, cannot get fixated uh, on one objective, on, a pre on one precise objective to, to reach uh, at any cost. We, in fact, the self-realized people, like I said before, they are flexible. They are especially able to change direction and redefine their own objectives continuously. Even if the, the crisis like to appear contradictory. So, uh, in fact, this is the right uh, way to, um, to aid our own nature, to nurture our own deep, deep aspirations. And it's okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Um, for example, here, raggiungere a tutti i costi, un obiettivo da raggiungere a tutti i costi, uh, an object, a precise objective to um, achieve to, she said all costs, no. To, at all costs, yeah, at any price, you can say either price. in English, yeah, to reach. I mean, I was also with fissarsi, fissar, is that fissar? Si? Uh, Fissars, uh, where is it? Uh, Just that same little section. Fissarci, fissarci. Fissarci sono be... uh, so to... She talks about fixated, again, which is all right. I think you could say maybe uh, to be obsessed with a specific goal, to be, to be wed to. Sometimes when you're wed to something, as in wedding, it means yeah. being absolutely committed to it. And yeah, and yeah. What is, they're wed to certain ideas, you can oh, often say. Yes, exactly. So. Oh, okay, here. Ob eh, eh, di ridefinire i loro obiettivi continuamente anche a costo di apparire contraddittorie. The, at the end of the page, obiettivi. Mm -hmm. uh, redefine their objectives uh, continuously also even at the she said uh to at the cost no at yeah i mean no yeah, that's good of appearing or at the cost to appear at the cost uh, of appearing. At the cost of appearing contradictory yeah it's good, it's good. yeah mm. and I, I was just gonna ask so a secondare la nostra vera natura yeah she said to help right to assist yeah yes exactly yeah. Nutrire le nostre aspirazioni. I think she said to nurture, which I like. That that's good. To cultivate. Sometimes you can cultivate something. Cultivate uh, aspirations. Okay. Go on. Especially is the way to favor those uh, changes, those inner changes that are like it's not a fixed and rigid project. But it is instead, uh, like I said, a, a, an adventure that is always transforming, that is always becoming. You must know that um, in the past, especially in the Christian culture, um, who uh, was able to sacrifice uh, was believed a, a committed and strong individual and a person that is self-realized at the eye of society. Okay. Couple of things here that I would just say favorire. I, I generally I don't like going with favor, and and you know it's, you talk about what option do you favor A or B, but generally I think with when I hear favorire again from a romance language, I tend to go with something like to foster, to foster these internal changes, and I, again I like that because it's got the F at the start, um, yeah. So it just sort of makes me automatically. Okay. Um, use that word mm -hmm. and then also another thing uh, in perenne transformazione yeah. so a good a, expression that we have in English there is something being in a constant state of flux ah, okay so did you know that yeah a state of flux means it's just constantly flux, changing yes, uh, like fluctuazione, like uh, right right yeah. okay um uh, okay, uh, who was able to sacrifice uh, himself? Uh, she said, si sapeva sacrificare. Chi si sapeva sacrificare here? Quindi, 
uh, I mean, it's okay to to sacrifice oneself. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, ah, okay. Agli occhi della società, in, uh, she said at the eye or to the eye. In the, in the eyes, in of, eyes society. of society. Or, yeah. Um, that sounds all right to me in English. In front of society, no. Or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds all right okay. to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was just going to say un tempo soprattutto. Ah, okay. Do you know that uh, in the past, especially, or especially in the past, uh, un tempo... We have an expression in English, in the olden days. Whenever ah, I talk to my kids about how things were days. once upon a time, in the olden days. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. In the Christian culture, okay. And then, okay, so we can, I think we said that. Yeah. Because the sacrifice it was believed it was the only way towards self-realization, but in reality, the true self-realization must be source of pleasure. It cannot be a sacrifice. It must be a source of uh, happiness and not, not fatigue. But every time that we take on the responsibility of our own choice, we free ourselves on to the dependency of exteriority, the judgment of others outside of ourselves. And we feel that we grow inside. We feel a deep well-being. So then oh. we'll... Uh... Okay, maybe stop here. Uh, Fonte di piacere, source of pleasure. Source of pleasure, okay. that sounds nice, yeah. Okay. Mm. Fatica, uh, fatigue, uh, felicità, happiness, and not of fatigue. Okay. Yeah, sounds good to me, yeah. If you want something different from happiness, like contentment, I guess oh, you could okay. say it's okay. maybe a slightly higher register. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One word here, uh, dependence. Okay, she went with dependency. Okay. One word not to forget. Yeah, often so the word, in English, reliance, reliance yeah. on, on yes. others. Because often, again, in the um, the Romance languages, I guess these you'll have these various yes. variations of dependence. Depend often in, in English, in fact, we maybe say to rely You're on. Denied. Certainly, we say as much as depend on. So it's always good again to have that as a synonym. Yeah, we get rid of... And we, um, and we also talk a lot about, you know, in this sort of, this kind of philosophical stuff, the idea of self-reliance. Yeah, so we wouldn't okay. talk about self-dependency, self we talk about self-reliance. Mm -hmm. so. Exteriorita, exteriority, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, Does it sound a bit strange in Italian, exteriorita? Yeah, no, I mean, it's normal in philosophical or uh, psychological. Yeah, I, I think in it, yeah, context, I think in it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah. I, I can't think of any other synonym in this. You context. don't use it every day in no ordinary no. conversation, no. No. Um, and then, uh, okay, crescere dentro di noi, sentiamo crescere un benessere profondo, okay. Um, she said, "Well being, benessere." I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, do you have any other? Words? No, no, no. Go on. Okay, can continue. Creative stimulus will arrive, and also a sense of fulfillment that will make us feel the artist of our own destiny. So, happiness, well being, the self realization. I, they, are, they never come from the outside. They, they will never come from the intervene of others, intervention of others, but they said they, it comes from the, uh, the self-awareness, the inner self-awareness when the individual spontaneously gets in touch with himself. So the more we trust our own strength and more we will be free uh, not to wear some uh, 
some mask, some um, untrue mask, and said we can, without the mask, we can bring out our true essence and go towards our own uh, uh, happiness. So, the end. Okay. So, here, um, okay, a new, a new stimuli, new stim stimulus, new stimuli ah, stimuli okay that's the um, plural yeah <laughs> yeah right um and this sense okay sense of fulfillment appagamento okay here sentirsi artefici del nostro destino okay i thought this was this bit was interesting yeah, as well yeah leads us to feel ourselves really uh, so artefici is what in Italian? Is it an artist? An artefici? Yes, yeah, the, a maker. <laughs> I mean, a, 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 a builder. <laughs> okay, so, right, uh, right, right. So the idea I had was an architect. A, yeah. An architect. <laughs> yes, an architect uh, of one's right. own destiny. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's the word. So I think she said artist, but I, I you know, in English, certainly the. Um, the idea is that being an architect of one's de to own create, destiny or yeah it, to create to forge to shape okay, to we often talk about shaping mind. one's own destiny yeah. yeah to forge or to shape so those, those are really good words that uh, you probably want to take a note of yeah you often talk about yeah i mean forging partnerships also. shaping destiny yeah. all that sort of thing yeah. um anything else there uh, non scaturiscono mai, never come from uh, the outside, she said. Mm -hmm. so, uh, okay, non vengono mai dall'intervento degli altri. They never come from the intervention uh, of others. Okay. I think that was good, yeah, yeah into you. Exactly. Um, uh, and then, abbiamo fiducia in noi stessi. Perciò, più abbiamo fiducia in noi stessi, the, the more we are self-reliant or... Okay, right, right. Uh, yeah. And uh, the more we rely on our um, strengths. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, the more we will, we will be free not to wear masks, she said. Uh, yeah, I think... Even in COVID times. Uh, I've got my... <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, speaker, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> Let's let's exactly. shake them off. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. I hope. <laughs> I hope sometime <laughs> soon. I can't <laughs> okay. There was one other thing I wanted to say. Yeah. Scoperto la nostra vera essenza. Uh, um, okay, scoperto means discover. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, to discover our truth. Okay, so she says essences. Like yeah. in the Italian, I, I think nature. in English, that you're more like, yeah, our true natures. I'm just gonna say our true selves. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> just that simple, you know, just discover yeah. our true selves. Yeah. And that was pretty much it on my end. Was there anything else there in that last little segment that uh, you wanted to pick up on? Tracciando così la strada verso, tracciando, just... Uh, uh, Yes, nine ten. The minutes. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so I think in English you can actually talk about our tracing way, a path. Paving the way. Towards... Paving the way. Yeah, pave to, to, yeah. You can also try to trace a path. To trace a path. Trace that, a path. That expression exists in, in, okay. in English. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think you can use either there. Okay. All right. It's. Uh, it's the end. <laughs> well, as I said, that's an unusual text. We've not, I don't think we've done one of those, uh, one of those before, but it's always good to, to try something a bit different. And uh, if any of you viewers out there have something similar, as I say, we just, we don't just do UN texts here at the interpretation station. It might, you might get that impression, but that's just what's most readily available. So guys, if you've got any other interesting texts from other fields, please do um, please do submit them and um, me and Sarah can uh, can distill them for you, break them down for you. Uh, do you feel spiritually <laughs> at, a, at, a, at a new level now, Sarah, after that? Yes, uh, of course. I'm feeling 
to the upper level now. <laughs> I, <upgrade. laughs> I did the upgrade. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, Carmela, thank you very much for sending it in. You've given us a bit of fun there. Um, I hope I uh, hope you guys, as I say, have learned some new uh, vocabulary ideas that you can apply in whatever fields you are working in. I mean, again, a lot of these solutions they they can they apply across different fields. Be it again philosophy here or in politics, it's a lot of the same. You know, a lot lots of these solutions that we try and give you can, can work across the board. Um, Sada, any final comments to make? Uh... No, nothing else to say. I think uh, that's all. Um, of course, just uh, uh, remember to uh, subscribe, uh, follow us <laughs> on LinkedIn. Uh, tell them in Italian, tell them in Italian. Okay, mi raccomando, uh, seguiteci <laughs> su LinkedIn. <laughs> e, Adesso non mi viene l'italiano. <laughs> What in Italian? Ah, subscribe, no? It's not subscribe in Italian. <laughs> I abo abonare, abbonate, ab abo suscrivate. Uh, abbonatevi, no, ma seguite la pagina LinkedIn. Hey. Ecco, finally. Hey. You're better at practice, aren't you? It's been a while, so I can't forgive yes, you. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um... So do everything she just said that, yes, subscribe, like, share, and, and all that sort of thing. Right. And uh, yeah, with that, hopefully see you again very soon. Yeah. And all that remains to say is the episode, uh, was it 90, did I say 8, 97, 98, I think it's 98. I think episode 98 of the Interpretation Station stands adjourned. <laughs>